What's up? It's Janessa, co-founder and co-CEO of Simply Eloped, here for your tip of the week. This week we're talking about who should not elope. And I've got five types of yuzz that should not elope. Your five types of people that should not elope. For starters, we have Lauren. Lauren loves attention. She loves to dress up, she loves to be the center of attention, she loves all eyes on her, and Lauren cannot imagine her ceremony day without her entire clan with her, and that clan just happens to be 300 people. When Lauren even thinks about the topic of eloping, it just brings her sadness. I have a Lauren in my life, two of my friends, they got married in Mexico. They had 80 of their closest friends with them, so not nearly as large as the 300, but it was just the right thing for them. They just needed everyone around them that was a part of their relationship, and that ended up being 80 people. That is not an elopement. That is a destination wedding. So if you're a Lauren, don't get eloped. Second up, we got Tori. Tori has no budget constraints. Tori is the type of person that wants such a magnificent wedding that she wants all the news coverage, New York Times, The Knot. She wants to be featured as many places as possible. She wants fine wine, fine linens, fine flowers. She's got the exact image in her brain of this grand thing. Tori should not elope. Brian, Brian's our party boy. Brian, whenever something awesome happens in his life, Brian has a party. And Brian cannot imagine lo marrying the love of his life without a big old party. Now Brian might elope, maybe, but he's gotta have a big party afterwards. But you wanna know what? Might as well do it all at one time, make the whole thing a party. Brian needs to have a wedding with all of his bros. Whoever's gonna party with Brian needs to party with Brian. Brian, don't elope. Tatiana. Oh, Tatiana. She's my stressy Bessie. She really worries about things. She worries about weather. She worries about details. She worries about guests not being able to come. This sweet, sweet, sweet Tatiana, she needs to have a wedding planner. She needs a person she can call at 12 o'clock at night when she is stressing out three days before a ceremony and is gonna have that person with her to say, Girlfriend, everything's gonna be okay, I got you. Tatiana, don't elope. Go get yourself a wedding planner. They're actually really awesome. I'm highly in support of wedding planners. Last up, we've got Brianna. Brianna is very traditional. She wants her father to walk her down the aisle. She needs to have an aisle. She wants music to be playing while she's walking down the aisle. She needs to hire a quartet or a DJ. Brianna, wants to have a first dance. Brianna wants to have a ring exchange. Brianna wants a lot of the traditions that are baked into a wedding. And I think Brianna would actually be disappointed if she eloped. Elopements, while they can fold in some traditional elements, are at the root of it kind of non-traditional. Brianna, don't elope. Those are the five types of people I don't think elopements are for. Now that might be weird, I own an elopement company. I want you to elope with me, should you choose to elope. But just like a big wedding isn't for everybody, we have had some clients that were like, you know, I think I just realized I wanted a big wedding and I should have just done it. It might be attractive to you to elope because of the cost. It's really cost efficient, but this is a really big day. And I don't think the decision to have a large wedding or to elope should be taken lightly. You should really think about it, talk about it with your partner, meditate on it, and really explore your options before you make a final decision. So. Those are the five types of people that should not elope. Next week, we're gonna be talking about a super fun topic. We're gonna to talk about ways to incorporate your fur friends.